like you know of of both of these players really like I haven't heard them really before but uh they've made this far so they're obviously pretty good uh, I'm, yeah okay so I would definitely want to tell you guys for sure this is what you guys should be doing if you ever enter an online tournament and start before you guys start playing I 110% recommend you guys start doing button checks I get a lot of people requesting basically live checks when you guys can already do a live check before the actual match and then definitely start doing that I recommend it it saves us a lot of time and it definitely saves you guys the headache of having to play around one and then all of a sudden you notice the lags there and it's a little bit too late to enlist for a lag check especially because they are very very time consuming I've got your back. well i can see that but sometimes like you do the button check and it's fine then out of nowhere you're playing the match and it's yeah yeah, yeah. And the, there's a spike but it, it's the best way to do it and figure it out from there that's my adv uh, my advice to people especially because well, they already hit I already hit the record button and <laughs> they started and I thought they were actually playing. Alright, cool. Well, so now this is for reals. Fine. The connection seems fine, so. Okay. Robin, Terry, another match starting on Pokemon Stadium 2. It's like it's like I, I never stopped playing offline, man. <laughs> oh my! Okay. I was gonna say, thank God Elwin got <laughs> has good height. I thought he was gonna get the double dunk on him. I was same. Because like, just the angle that he recovered at, he didn't change it up. I thought he was gonna spike him. Again. Yeah. Oh, good up air. That was really good. The, the angle and arc and that up air is able to cover also behind you, in front of you, is a really good arc. I think that's what makes Robin pretty interesting in terms of matchups and as a character hole, but now he's out of recoveries here, using a lot of the Eldwin to come back on the stage. Good stuff though to Enharmonia, just because you have to be very careful when you come back to the stage against Terry, because if you're coming out of a very tough situation, oh, that was, okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop talking, that was clean. That was the yeah, cleanest setup exactly, I've seen from Robin. That's exactly what I expected in this matchup. Like, oh my God, he took 60 plus percent from one stream. Jesus. I don't know if he knew that up smash would work there, but that was sick. But uh, yeah, that's what I expected in this matchup. If Terry just tries to up and pass the edge, if he like misses a snap by a, a tiny margin, arc fire is so Ooh. easy. But the craziest anti-air in the entire game, literally that that power, oh, dash attack just broke his shield? Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the amount of pressure that you take in terms of shield damage there was a lot enough for dash attack to take it. And then we did see Enharmonia go for forward smash just so the elephant sword could get activated, and then he gets the actual hit. That was nice. Clean play, yeah. clean play. Yeah, very, very solid Robin play right now. Yeah, this seems not easy for Terry. Like, no, not at all. Very hard. He gets edge guarded pretty well, and he also that perfect way for juggles like this. Jesus. Did you no, let, let, me, let me call that arc fire that we saw earlier because that arc fire was so perfect to catch Cerno in that situation that they just turned it around into his game. That would have been a great catch. I respect it though, just because Cerno might have gone for a panic roll, and then either way, the book falling behind in Armonia would have covered the roll either way. So that was a great play. Arc Thunder for the shield hold, great back throw. This off the stage here. I believe Arcfire should be coming back really soon, but it doesn't matter because the L Thunder will finish it off. Yeah, Thoron's too strong. Yeah, Thoron, and, uh, I apologize. Cerno's uh, landing habits, he didn't really change them up. But also, at that point, he was just he was trying to get anything to work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cerno was getting all kinds of mixed up, and he had no idea which was the right option, which was the wrong one. Because <laughs> Enharmonia read everything yesterday. Yeah, very solid, very solid. Uh, honestly, yeah, the matchup seems hard for Terry because he, he needs to get in because he's just going to, you know, that's where he gets all his damage. And he, his projectile is not really good enough to contend with Robins. But uh, just the way that Inharmonia is playing, he's just shutting down a lot of these approaches just with projectile usage alone. And then if he catches them jumping, he's just been really quick to just immediately hit him out of the air with his own aerials. Which sometimes just combo into 60 plus percent from yeah. zero. 
And also, Robin's one of those characters that we saw in the offline space. We saw Jewel kind of slowly rise to prominence in the East Coast before COVID. And then, unfortunately, yeah, we had COVID. So it's good to see that we are a couple more Robins. I know Grandmaster has a Robin as well. So good to see another one come out to the stream today. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. We saw a lot of a Grandmaster before. And, uh, you know, a lot of people just don't have a super high opinion of Robin in this game. But I, I think... Like, look at that. <laughs> Zero to death, like nothing. But I think uh, Robin is a very, very good character. Yeah. Not like, you know, a top tier or anything, but, you know, when her game plan's working, it looks like one of the better characters for sure. Yeah, I would say the original Belmont with that arc fire and the way the holy water works. That's a great Nosferatu. You hold shield a little bit too long, buddy. And then great stuff using the L Thunder because that also would have held the shield or would have covered the opportunity to come back on the stage. Yeah. Even if it didn't, you know, keep him in shield long enough for him to get back on stage, he still did a good trade. And I love that he uses the back air after hitting them in the, uh, trapping them in the arc fire just to send them off stage. Or even flat out kill at some percent. Yeah. Watch out. Okay. That, that was time good. He got little... Wow, it didn't even matter that he like autopiloted his Thoron setup. He still got the kill anyway. Yeah, he autopiloted there, but that's good because he covered all the opportunities in which Cerno wanted to cover. And then he kind of understood, okay, the only way he's going to go here is by jumping out of the ledge. And he caught that with the forwarder here, but Cerno kind of coming back to the game with that jab, jab. Up air? Oh, missed the opportunity here. Great play, though. Really hard to execute that online, though, so I, I still applaud it. It's just, it's not that easy as it looks, but it's definitely one of the bread and butters for Terry. Oh, you read that roll. I'm sorry, you read the roll. Get up. Okay. Watch the landing. Sterno, can you touch the stage, please? Yeah, and Harmonia is having a lot of fun right now. Wait, never mind. No, he's not. He's probably dead at 34%. Yes. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is why you're my favorite strides. You either give the curse or the blessing. It's never to one or the other. It's, it's, it's both of them. There it is. Oh, Finally gets it. it. Oh, wait. And Terry has that go, meaning that he can snowball his momentum very heavily if he gets, I want to say, like two or three more reads here. Okay. But look at the one that's the one thing I like from Enharmonia. Really excellent at coming back from the ledge. You oh. can see it in that forward air. It's not going to be death, but it's still good enough to actually push him to a middle stage. Our Sono literally hanging on by a thread here. Oh, that was oh. good. That was good. He, yeah, wanted to bait, he wanted to bait the roll get up. Yeah, and unfortunately, yeah. Caught by all the flare. Yeah, buffing that air dodge out of uh, getting hit. Kind of, kind of a rough scenario to be in. Honestly, though, him uh, getting hit by arc fire in general in that point was just really bad for him. He might have just died even if he didn't SD there. But uh, that wasn't super bad towards the end. I, I feel like Cerno actually had a little bit of momentum, and especially with the you know the go active, he yeah. made a lot of things happen. So maybe he's just like you know a little bit of a slow start, kind of getting his bearings, getting a read on how. In Armonia plays this character, maybe also figuring out the matchup as he goes along because that's how many people play Robin, especially to a level like this. So Let, let's see, let's see if Cyril's figured out enough things to take a game here. I'm gonna take it to my own destination this time. Nice, the charge rising tackle as well for the max damage. Go for it again. Nice. Yep. That's the classic Terry bread and butter there. I'll bear to the rising tackle. Specifically the oh, charge rising away. tackle. Nice. A lot of damage here. 119 to 33. Yeah, this is the best position that Cerno has been in since this set has started. I would love to see him continue. Oh my god, down to his power. <laughs> or sorry, burn knuckle. Yeah, once you're popped in the air like that from the ledge with no jump, you're just dead at that percent. You might as well just put the sticks down. Oh. Not dead. And he has go. So let's see if he can uh, capitalize here. Oh, not, not, not good, not good, not good. When you're at low percent like that, and you get like a down tilt, if you're gonna go for any special, you might as well go for um, Buster Wolf to get the max damage. Yeah. Might have been a miss it, but though, who knows. Yep, yeah, they... has been doing an excellent job getting, getting most of the input so far, I mean, Cerno has the lead here, a uh, tough spot there because you are holding shield and that's going to be really difficult to get out and evaluate if you want to roll or spot dodge. And then after that, it's going to be the Buster Wolf into 103 to 82. Cerno is putting on the damage. 
Oh my god. That power dunk was crazy. See, that's the tough part here, is that Cernal usually is trying to make the right calls here, but when you're getting hit by a lot of Robin's projectiles, especially the Elf Thunder, nice down throw, looking for the reaction, I like that. Oh no! That feels the bad. starting frames, that feels the starting terrible. frames. Because that power geyser would have connected and killed if that, if it, you know, worked, but it didn't come out fast enough. Oh my god, so much damage right here. Yep, hit the narrative, send him off stage. Ooh. He is gone. Ouch. Yeah. That was very little he could do in that situation. Once he got sent off stage from that first nair. Uh, man, Inharmonious Robin, very impressive. Definitely one of the best Robins I've personally seen. Up there with like uh, Jewel and Grandmaster, for sure. And uh, 